I don't have a suit. Actually, I have a backup. Total fan favorite. What is up Warheads, Warshu here with a video on The Flash Season 5. So finally we've got some pretty cool new information to go over, so make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos on this channel. So earlier this week we had a leaked Flash suit that was all over the internet, all over Instagram, all over Twitter, and let's be honest, the suit didn't look great, it didn't look bad, it was just a bad angle, a bad image. So last night they released official image, which looks pretty cool, but it's super, super imposed, meaning the colors look a lot brighter than they actually are. So Grant Gustin posted an image of the actual suit in his trailer, which looks very different to the promotional image, but they always impose and res the image. But of course, the suit will look very different when it comes to our screens in October. So the suit itself, no leather, it's spandex mainly, although you could argue the cow could still be leather because it does look similar-ish to season four's cow still in terms of like the material it's made of. I can't tell if it's made out of spandex from looking at it. So guys, what do you think? So it will make the effects easier and it will essentially be like a onesie or like a, a pullover, I guess, for him to get into, just like getting in. Uh, no zipper, so the suit will be a lot harder to get in and out of. Grant Gustin did actually comment on this before the reveal. He says, the suit I wore for four years, it was easier to get in and out of. It, uh, Grant explained, it's a jacket and pants they were leather. So it's the most comic book accurate suit we've got today. But does it suck? Because obviously Grant likes the suit, he says, and most people kind of like the suit. But does it suck in the sense that it's going to be hard for him to get in and out? Because you remember, if they're filming long days, I know they film 12 to 14 hour days, maybe longer. Being in a suit that's really hard to get out of if you need to go to the toilet would be pretty bad. And it looks like we will be getting the gold boots, although you can't actually see it. So do you like the suit? So currently, it looks like the chin strap isn't there, but if you super zoom in, you can kind of see a bit under his chin, but it's really hard to actually go over. So his face looks very different because the chin strap's been removed or you just can't see it in this image. Now the flash emblem looks like it's actually part of the suit. I will put a comparison up between the two images. And obviously Grant had permission to post this image. It's a po picture of him posting, like doing an arm bicep pose. But the emblem doesn't look like it's kind of being added on. It looks like it's actually attached to the suit. And there are certain impingements on the suit that look different. Like if you look at the kind of image on this right bicep it looks like maybe there's some um, padding there because the version of him actually posing in his trailer compared to the one that's actually on the promotional image does look very different and it's pretty cool it's out there now because obviously Grant Gustin was talking about body shame and all that stuff we don't really get into politics on this channel but I can see why he was but it does look a lot better just like he did so that is pretty cool so the suit itself is going to come out of the flash ring but due to it being very expensive I can't really see them popping out the flash ring all the time hence why he Bar Thorn Reverse Flash in Season 1 only had it pop out once although he wore the Flash ring all the time so like I said before it's going to come from the future, the Flash ring's coming back with Nora Allen, it's going to be from the Flash Museum and maybe that's where the suit was after Barry Allen disappeared in 2024 or at least that's where we're led to believe. This suit doesn't look identical to the newspaper article in 2024 but like I've said multiple times before guys when they first started the show they didn't know what the suit would look like if they ever get to see season 10 because the season 10 would be 2024 and there's an image on that that looks pretty different to the current suit so like i always say this is still not the final suit it's gonna look different different when it pops on to the tv show in october at the start of the video i did include a trailer called the super season and let's be honest guys it's not really a trailer that's why cw haven't officially released it we get one clip of barry running which is kind of interesting. So guys, do you like the suit? I did put a questionnaire poll thing. Uh, I uploaded an image on my YouTube community tab, which I do use quite a lot. So make sure to check that out, guys. I do post quite a lot about random stuff on there and other stuff. So let me know, do you like the suit? Personally, I like it, but I might start this video. Does the flat new flash suit sucks or something just because it's hard for grant to get in and out of it it would suck so we also have some new information about a new character coming to the show deadline is reporting that kian is set to play a gender swap version of the character 
spin. Now, this isn't the first time that the Arrowverse has done this, because if you remember, I think it was season three. Top was played by a female, but in the comics, Top is actually male. So in the comics, Spin is a man who possesses the ability to manipulate emotions. According to the cast breakdowns, now we can only go by the cast breakdowns, so let's just presume it's real. This character is a young aspiring social media influencer who seizes the opportunity to make herself famous when she discovers there's a new hero in town. So basically, she's going to try and expose Nora Allen excess whatever you want to call the character and she's going to try and expose this character to get famous online you know kind of like iris west kept kind of trying to reveal on a blog who barry allen was she kept i'm sorry who the flash was she kept posting about the flash reporting on the flash so i, I guess she's going to be on some kind of social media website reporting about this new um character a new vet like hero Obviously, they can't use Twitter or Facebook due to they'll have to pay money to them, I guess. So there'd be some random website where she keeps posting about this new hero. And seeing as she has powers herself and she can manipulate emotions, will this play into her find out who the new hero is? It's going to be quite interesting. So if she's going to, is Spin going to be obsessed with Nora Allen? Are they going to have some kind of relationship? I wouldn't put it past CW because CW are heavy on their relationships. So anyway, guys, like I said before, I will try to do more Flash videos, but only when there's context. Now, I know there was other stuff popped up. Caitlin Snow's father's coming to show. The mother's coming back. But I'm not going to make videos unless there's some factual information. So guys, let me know. Do you think this new character, Spin, is going to be obsessed with Nora Allen? She is a locker, so I can see why if she is. And also, do you like the new suit? I don't think the suit sucks, but like I said, I think it sucks because it's going to be hard for him to get in and out of it if he needs to go to the toilet. So all your comments down below, guys. Like always, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps the channel. And let's get to 50,000 subscribers. And also, any video requests down below would be awesome. Uh, I know I've been doing a lot of Marvel recently, but the channel is still Marvel DC related. I just do videos and as and when they pop up really so i don't really have a priority of what i upload just whatever i feel is is gonna like be interesting for for you guys the warheads anyway guys i'll catch you in another video very soon catch you later